guys. All right, so here we are in Fusion 360, and this is the Z-axis ball nut mount. Let's see if I have that here. You can kind of see how it goes in there. Fits in there like so. Originally, I had this turned this way, but the fitting, which happens to be over here for the oil fitting, um, it'll break off if you have it sticking out the end. So I had to modify that on my mill. But you can see how it fits in there. And then there is a dowel. A steel dowel that goes in this slot and a through bolt an m8 through bolt that goes into here from the spindle uh, column mount so let's go over some of the g-code for this um, I had to do this in two setups Well, I'm showing three here, but really it was only two setups. Um, the first setup is like this with this top left-hand corner as my zero. Um, drill, center drill, and then boring a hole through here. Uh, and then come back in and doing some adaptive clearing here to make the slot. A couple of finishing passes to get it to size and then a tapping pass to thread it. Like I said, this is M8 by 1.25. Uh, the second setup is to bore the through hole. I'm using a 3 8 inch end mill and instead of doing a with adaptive clearing, I'm just boring holes. It seems to work a little bit better for these deep holes. And then a finish pass to bring it to size. All right, for the third setup, which is really not a different setup, um, we're going to drill our four holes, center drill. Then we're gonna come back and drill We're going to come back and do uh, this recess and we're just going back and forth across here to clean this up and then last we're going to tap our four holes for our M6 by one screws to mount our ball nut. So that's pretty much it for the Z-axis ball nut. Let's go out to the Precision Matthews and we'll machine this out. Alright, so for the first operation here, we're going to be center drilling. This is a 3 16 center drill. The next operation is we're going to be boring for our M8 by 1.25 tap. I believe this is an H drill bit or 1764, so I can't remember. Uh, next, I'm coming back here with a four flute end mill. Uh, this is about three eighths of an inch depth of cut, and I'm doing some slot clearing. I've been trying to work on my feeds and speeds. I'm running here at 3,000 RPMs with a two and a half thou chip per tooth and about 25 thousandths width of cut. I think I could be a little bit more aggressive with the width of cut, um, but in time, it just it's just gonna take some time for me to get all that figured out. Uh, it worked really well.
Here we are finishing it up from a different angle from my GoPro cam. And then I'm just doing a finish pass here just to um, clean off the edges. I think I'm taking about uh, twenty thousandths off the sides here with a couple of passes just to clean it up. Next here we're going to be tapping. This is a spiral flute tap. This is an M8 by 1.25. I am using a Tormach compression tapping head. You can see it works really well. Haven't had any issues as of yet. Alright. I've got set up for the second setup and we're going to go in and we're going to bore our park pocket for the ball nut to pass through. All right, so here we are with a 3 8 inch four flute long end mill and I am boring, basically boring three different holes. I'm boring a hole in the center here and then coming back and stepping over. Last, uh, when I did the bearing blocks, I did some adaptive clearing and I took a full depth of cut and there was just a lot of shavings and chips to try to evacuate out the hole. So I thought I would try this boring operation for these ball nut mounts and it seemed to work really well. Everything was kind of flushed out through the bottom and I didn't have any problems of recutting chips. Uh, this is the third step here. I'm running at 30 inches per minute here. Uh, this is 0.1875 width of cut, and I'm taking 35 thousandths depth of cut, and it's kind of ramping down. Actually, I think it's 40 thousandths as it's ramping down. And then after this final step here, I'm just going to come back with one pass just to uh, finish getting it to the finished size. Sometimes you have a lot of flex with these longer end mills. And this is about 20,000 so I'm cleaning up here. Now we're just going to center drill here for our mounting holes for the ball nut. And then come back and drill. This is a 0 0.203, a little over 200 thousandths drill bit. This is for an M6 by 1.0. Socket head screw that I'm going to be using. And then here I am making a step. This is kind of locks in the ball nut and also um, keeps the bottom nice and flush. Gives me just a little bit of an extra travel on the Z. I'm using a 3 8 inch four flute end mill here. Uh, 35 thousandths width of cut, 30 inches per minute, and a two and a half thousandths chip per tooth. Could have went a little bit more aggressive with this, I think, on the width of cut. Again, I'm still learning with the feeds and speeds. 
All right, so I've got my compression tapping head. This is an M6 by 1.0 tap. And we're just going to tap these four holes. I'm running at 400 RPMs here, and I've got the gearbox in H1. In order to get the 400 RPMs, I'm having to run Mach 3 at 1275. And with the gearbox, that gives me 400 RPMs. Works really well. All right, we finished up the Z-axis ball nut carrier. It'll mount right in there, and then the end of it has a dowel that will go into this groove. And then there's a through bolt that goes through uh, the Z-axis. And it'll mount in there. That's pretty simple. Uh, had some fun with my compression tapping head. Uh, Craig, I appreciate the uh, tapping head. It's proven to be uh, very useful. So thanks for watching the videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. I'm really trying to focus on my feeds and speeds now and try to fine tune uh, some of the cam operations. I still don't think that I've got the mill running at its full capacity. I've really been trying to experiment. But that wraps up this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.